You want to go to our Big Ten tiers? Yeah. Uh, before we get to that, do you have any idea what Jacoby Walter's wingspan is? If you're going to tell me it's seven foot four, I'm going to be terrified. It might be. I'm sorry. I'm just looking at this <laughs> dude right now. There's there's a very real chance that he can scratch his kneecaps without any type of bending. Um, let me look for wingspan here. I'm not finding a wingspan. Okay, it's fine. We can move on. Also, Jacoby's a fire name. I God, I love Jacoby Walter. Yeah, okay, you're all in on this. I think we usually fall for a Baylor guy early in the season. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm glad it's Jacoby Walter. Also, shout out to my Sleepers Fantasy Basketball League team. You know who has Jacoby Walter? Do you actually? You know who got him in the 11th round of that draft? Y- you. Me. How are you doing in fantasy, by the way? Have you checked the score? I'm cooking Michael Lofton. Nice. I'm up nine to one with one tie in categories right now. Nice. Last time I checked, I think I was down nine to two. That's ah, tough. Things are things yeah. are good over here. Uh, okay, to our tiers. We've now seen every single Big Ten team play. Uh, you could definitely move some things around based on what we've seen. Um, we we did a lot of tier talk this offseason, as did a lot of people. The last person that was doing it was boilers in the stands craig bowers and i think it was the day of the first game he kind of had his final tiers i was urging him to move michigan up because he had him in mm-hmm. tier four and uh, i was like they're at least tier three maybe closer to tier two well let's just do the tiers thing again so um we'll go through every single team we'll lump them in individual tiers you and i both and then we'll see where we land just to set the the table for this cart i figure i, I should probably just read the standings real quick the records right mm-hmm. yeah let me let me just read the records real quick. Uh, so Illinois is at the top one and oh, Indiana's one and oh, Iowa's one and oh, Maryland's one and oh, Michigan's one and oh, Minnesota's one and oh, Nebraska's one and oh, Northwestern's one and oh, Ohio State's one and oh, Penn State's one and oh, Purdue's one and oh, and then Wisconsin's one and oh, and then uh, coming in at 13th would be Rutgers 0 and 1, and then uh, tied for 13th is the number. Is it eight team in the country? No, number four team in the country. Excuse me. Sorry. Um, Michigan State. So nine spots lower in the Big Ten standings after one game. <laughs> I'm sorry. Even I can't take myself seriously when I'm doing I was that. So, I was so goddamn mad that I asked. I, uh, <laughs> I'm I sorry. No blame, I have no one to blame but myself. You don't say sorry. I have literally no one to blame but myself. You left the door open for that, but I even I don't feel good about that right there. That was that was wrong. Um, how do you want to do this? Do you want me to tear this up? Do you want to do it collaboratively, or do you want to go first? What do you want to do? I'd like to collab. I think we can come to an agreement. Okay, then if we're collabing, we have to come to an agreement on the one crucial, critical thing that I will fight to the death. Purdue is alone at the top. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So t- tier one. Purdue. Yes. Now let's go to tier two. <laughs> Who okay. do you have tier two? Uh, tier two. No order on this either. Um, tier two, I would have Illinois. I would have um, I'd have Illinois. I have Maryland. I have Ohio State. Uh, I'd still have Michigan State in that tier. And then I think I would I think I'd cut it off there. Okay, can I do my collaborative pushback and twist on this with you? Mhm. Is it is it putting Michigan in this tier? No, I'm not fighting for Michigan yet. I'm mm-hmm. going to I'm going to fight that we should cut two of the teams you just mentioned. I think that yeah. t- tier 2 should be teams that have Really high upside, high upside as high as second in this conference, Mm -hmm. but have a floor that's also pretty high. So going through the ones you just mentioned, and you can even consider Michigan, we'll get to them soon. Um, I think that Maryland has a lower floor. I think Ohio State definitely has a lower floor than Illinois and Michigan State do. Even if I want to get my jokes off, Michigan State's going to be all right. They got too much talent to not. They're going to put Cohen Carr in the lineup soon. They'll be fine. Those guards won't play that bad. And Illinois, no matter what happens, they have Terrence Shannon. Terrence Shannon. Okay. I like – okay, two things. I like that uh, thought process as far as a low floor. 
And I will agree with you on that. So in this one, we'd have Illinois, Michigan State. Maryland could still be in there, right? Yes. I want to drop Maryland. Really? I want to drop Maryland until we see more. I don't think they okay. have the the floor as high as Illinois and Michigan State do. Okay. All right. Do you want to cut this tier right here? Can I talk about uh, just quickly why I want to drop Maryland? Because I I was loud that I thought Maryland was the third best team on paper coming into this season. Now I mm-hmm. would say Illinois has jumped them. Um, Kaiser played 15 minutes tonight. They won by 15 points. Uh, he was in foul trouble, so that's part of it. But like Kaiser coming off the bench playing 15 minutes is not mapping with part of why I thought Maryland could be really good. Um, foul trouble, though. Like you said, Sean Harris Smith was good. He was okay. He was okay. Okay. You don't, I was it four for five, like 12 points? Four for six, 0 for three from three, 12 points, two assists. Yeah. Very, it was a, a very ugly game, by the way. I don't know if you got to catch any of it. The whole game was ugly. I only saw moments of it. Um, oh. Re- Reese and Scott, like, are who they are to me. I just, I don't know. Like, I, that team feels like just a lock for fifth in the league, no matter what else happens to me. That that's I can't put them in like there's a world where Illinois ends up super good and finishes second. I don't think there is a world where Maryland like rises up and is the tenth best team in the country. I just don't see it. Can we each get one override? Yeah. But do you really want to use your override this early? Yeah, because I think Maryland belongs in this tier. All right. You using your override? Yeah. Okay, so tier one is champ, Purdue. Purdue. Mm -hmm. Just we're calling it champ, the champion, Purdue. Mm -hmm. Tier two, upside of a top ten team in the country: Illinois, Michigan State, Maryland. Mm -hmm. Okay, tier three, lock NCAA tournament teams. L word, lock. Don't have to worry about it for a second this season. Can I give you mine or you want to go? Can you, you you go ahead and go? We're lock. Remember, this isn't just like teams we think are going to get there. This is teams lock to the NCAA tournament. Yes. I only have two teams in this tier. Ohio State. Nope. Right. Ohio State's not a lock. I am really unimpressed with what I've seen from Ohio State thus far. Wow, not a lot. Um, okay, who's the who's the other team? I have Wisconsin, and I have Michigan. Okay, hear me out. I on, found, hear no, me out I, found, I, I my my next point was going to be that Wisconsin belongs in this in this part because uh, in the circle of calling it like it is and calling the games that we've seen, I was impressed with Wisconsin. Me too. So. Here's the biggest thing I'm coming at from this. Going into this season, we both had Wisconsin and Michigan pretty low because on paper, I think you and I were low on what they've been. Then they showed up to the first game on some new shit, on some like scorned X shit, on some like I'd, I've been in the gym for 12 months and I got a whole new body shit. Like yeah, Greg, Gar- Greg Gar's not a liar, by the way. You know, like people, coaches throw out that my player lost weight thing. Like yeah. Chucky Hepburn actually looks like a new player too, by the way, body, yeah. body wise. I want to say that. And like, if we're doing the whole, like, how did their ads come together? Like these are two teams whose ads look great. AJ store looks like a superstar. He came right mm-hmm. in and superstarred. Olivier Kamwa looks like a superstar. He came right in and superstarred. So mm-hmm. to me, again, through one game, looking at these two teams, I just think they're locked tournament teams. They're not super high ceiling, but they're teams that to me are going to separate from the pack and win a lot of games. Wisconsin, mm-hmm. Michigan. Okay. I like that. I like that tier. I agree. All right. So we're now six teams through. Is that right? We got Purdue at one. We got. Damn, I, I am. I am sad that you left Ohio State out of that. I think they're a for sure tournament team. Lock. I think it makes sense though. I think it makes sense though because le- my next tier teams we're never going to give up on until Selection Sunday gets here, and they're out of the tournament. <laughs> that okay. means that doesn't mean they're going to be out of the tournament, but like collectively, you and I will keep buying into them, even if they don't give us a lot of reason to buy into them. Hmm. Okay, well, I th- I feel like for sure Northwestern's got to be in this one, right? Yeah, there's there's two. 
It's Ohio State and Northwestern to me. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're going to talk ourselves in to Boo and Brooks Barnheiser. We're going to talk ourselves in to Bruce Thornton and Jameson Battle. And the reality of it is I think both these teams are going to be really up and down, really inconsistent. Mm-hmm. Their good okay. nights will be great. They can pick off Purdue on a good night. But they're they're gonna have a lot more bad uh, nights than Wisconsin. That, that hurts me with the I'm I'm with you on the Northwestern thing. That just hurts me with Ohio State. It does. I'm I'm still there with the Buckeyes, and I probably not, don't. I mean, I mean, I guess that fits the tier you just said. I won't. But like, yeah. it's our can't uh, shake them team. This is like a nicotine yeah. addiction team. Yeah, but like, I don't know. I think they're gonna be good enough defensively, and it was it didn't show in that Oakland game. But like. Thornton, Gale, Jamison, Middleton, Akpara, like that. Uh, that just seems like a lock tournament team to me. But I, I just want that on record. That's all. That's, that's just why I'm saying that we can move on to the next tier. Ohio State started Evan Mahaffey, who finished the game with zero points and four fouls. They let a player on Oakland named Jack Golke shoot 18 threes. In this game, oh, they they beat them. they beat Oakland by six points. Carter, yep, that was disappointing. We we can't look at this team right now and actually say we're confident in them. We just can't. We got to see it. We got to see it, guys, man. It's your but that's why they're in the nicotine category, seven and eight with Northwestern because you can't shake Ohio State and I can't shake Boo Booey. Even though all signs point to both of these teams being pretty bad right now, it is what it is. Uh, all right, fine. Damn okay, it. next next tier. There's going to be more teams than just like two teams in this one. Next tier is teams that I'm pretty sure aren't going to be that good. Could be like, we're not writing them off, but teams that I'm, I'm pretty sure aren't going to be that good. I have, uh, I actually have four teams that I would throw in this category. That are pretty sure not going to be good. I'm pretty sure they're not going to be that good, but like there is like a 10% world where we're just wrong still. And by next week, we're like, oh, we were wrong. This team is good. All right. So this is Iowa, Indiana, right? Iowa, Indiana, yep. Okay. Does Nebraska make it into this tier? Nebraska does make it into this tier. They they earned yeah. their way up to this tier while some other teams uh, earned their way down to this tier. Shout out to Guy. Or actually, if Guy has listened to this, Guy definitely have to make us a graphic for this. I feel like this would be great to post. Yep. Um, and you have two more in here? One more. One more. Iowa, Indiana, Nebraska so far. There's one more team left in the – we're pretty sure they're not that good tier. But they could be good. Penn State? Rutgers. Mm. Rutgers. Mm. I, I feel bad even putting Rutgers in this one. They disappointed me. Big yeah, time. I, I'm pretty sure they're not good. <laughs> yeah, I think we're giving them the benefit of the doubt. They might not have to be the, they might have to be in the not good category. And I love my Rutgers and I you know how I feel about them, but damn, that first game was disappointing. Derek Simpson breakouts on hold. Uh yeah. one for, one for five from the floor in this game in 18 minutes. Uh three assists, three turnovers. He was bad. Gavin yeah. Griffiths played like he looks. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah. Yeah. It was, I mean, it's it's tough, tough, tough showing for the Scarlet Knights for sure. But okay, and then last year, I'm guessing I'm, are just teams. I, I'm rooting for Gavin Griffiths, man. I really am. I promise. But he just has such a hilarious headshot. He's the Wilhelm Breedenbach of the conference right now. You're not supposed to be like a good player on a good team and be the goggles guy. You're just not. Speaking of that, how is your vision doing? Better, a lot better. Yeah, okay. like a lot better. If you keep on this path, you might be Gavin Griffiths next time you're at Bronson. <laughs> That's scary. All right, my final <laughs> tier uh, is two teams that have like seven Gavin Griffiths lookalikes. The uh, this is Penn State, Penn State and uh, Minnesota. Yeah, I don't. I don't think this, there's anything notable about either. Okay, I the last thing I'll say is I wish I shaved, saved my override because I think there should be a tier by itself as literally the worst team in the country, and it's Minnesota. In an act of generational generosity, I would like to use my unused veto to give you your wish, Carter. We're going to put Minnesota alone in the worst you know, in the country you, tier. You know, it feels good just to win one. It does. It feels good just to get a win. We made it. Um, you know what? This episode's really long, 
And I don't feel I like there's I don't feel like there's anything notable from around the country that we really wish we could talk about tonight. We already did some live Baylor Auburn stuff. That game yeah. was a great game, and we love Jacoby Walter. So I'm gonna veto power the final topic. We're just gonna do one big thing. 